Hey, good morning. I'm Jeanette, and I'm with Home of Style. I'm outside the workshop this morning. It's beautiful out here, but I don't think it's going to last very long, so I'm going to do this kind of quick. This is the w Women Who Would Work series, and I decided to do a little sub-series on the router. I've had a lot of requests and wanting information on doing the router. But it's a complicated machine, and if I tried to tell you all about of it, all about it on one video, <laughs> it would take a couple of hours, and I have enough trouble sitting through a two-hour movie, so I really don't want you to have to sit through two hours of me. So I'm going to chop it up and do a little series. This first one is going to be why I would use the router versus why I would not. One of the things I hear is people are thinking that they want to put trim up in their house, uh, crown molding or, uh, you know, wainscoting, uh, the chair rail trim, things like that. If I wanted to do that, I would go to the home center and pick out some beautiful trims, look at the different combinations, put one on top of another, and just go that route. That would be too much that I, I just would not be interested in doing. Some of you may that's fine but for me I use the router to make small furniture shelving um, my favorite thing to make is a mantle I love making mantles so it's fun for that it's also fun say like if you take a coffee table and you want to cut it in half and make it smaller and you need to put the trim on I don't know how well this is going to show up on video but this edge of this board has been trimmed so this is very pretty um, would be pretty on a coffee table, a shelf, um, something on a mantle, whereas this plain edge is not so pretty. Also stop and I want all of you to take a moment and kind of start looking around at furniture because this trim, while you think would on a, this level, also on a lot of your dressers and desks along the edge, you'll see a trim like this. So think about that too. Uh, it's a place that you might want to use the, the router on that. Also the router is going to do cuts inside your board, some decorative cuts. Uh, but there's some things that it will not do. If you look at some of the trim in your home center, some of it's been pressed, some of it's been formed. Um, and then also another little side uh, video that I want to make is something on composites. Uh, there are some composites out there that is actually applied to your wood using steam. Um, it's beautiful, it's incredible, and um, getting off subject. But anyway, back to the router. It is one of my favorite machines because of some of the things that it can do. Um, some of the safety tips, I again, I don't, I've got the manual out here somewhere, but I don't know where I put it. But grab the manual and take a moment and sit down with it and read through it. I always stress that because it's going to tell you some things in there that you're not really sure of, some ideas, and a few tips. But as we go along, I will be giving you a, additional tips and some help on getting started on the router. This one is not plugged in, so if you see me grabbing this, that's fine. Um, but a router is a machine you use upside down a lot. Uh, or you're sitting it upside down. You're putting your, your bit in this way. Um, it's got the flat surface, so when you want to, you've got a little switch here that locks it. And I'll go into more detail as we start actually cutting it. But this will lock it down, so this raises and lowers your bit, so you get a little bit of a different profile on it. Um, and as you're doing that, one of the tips that I will go over again, but is I look at my surface flat and that way I can kind of see exactly where it's going to be. My router does have numbers on here to tell me how deep it's going to cut, but I've never paid attention to it, so <laughs> I don't, nah, nah, doesn't matter. I just go by my eye. But anyway, when you're actually a router, you turn it over this way and you're using it going around the board or we'll also do a series at some point um, regarding some of the items that you'll want to add to your router. This here will help you go do cuts in the center of your board. Um, another video that I'll, I'll do is on clamping because that's kind of challenging sometimes when you're trying to clamp especially a thin board and you need to get from one end to the other. How, how can you go about that? So I want to do a series on that. <laughs> and then another thing, some of these bits, you might kind of look at them and think, oh my gosh, here's two of them that look similar, but one has a wheel and one does not. Why? So we'll go over some of those. This one here, every woman who's a woodworker or DIY-er, however that said, 
needs one of these. This is an awesome little bit, and we'll talk about that during during the bit series or the bit video. This one's also very pretty. It's a beaded bit. Um, so we'll show you some of the bit, bits on another video in the future. And then um, uh, some specialty bits, uh, so, excuse me, specialty routers. <laughs> Believe it or not, your Dremel can be turned into a router. It's tiny, but it does do a really neat job. Um, adding this to it turns this little tool into a router. So we'll go over that a little bit more. But um, I do want you to take a time and kind of look at some of the furniture that you see out there. Look at some of the edges. Look at some of the edges going across. The backs, mantles. Do look at mantles because they're amazing to make. And I'll probably even do a mantle series at some point because it's basically you know three boxes put together and after that the it's endless what you can do with it I will also go over the router table and also different types of routers because there are plunging routers where you actually can start in the center and plunge down in and I hate to tell you this but I use this in that manner too I know we shouldn't, but I'm not out here doing fine uh, furniture. So if I get a little squiggle or something, that just adds to the character of it, if you ask me. So that's fine. So I do use this to, to plunge into the center of my wood. And I'll put a picture at the bottom of this video that shows my uh, the pantry. Because I did notice that I've got some designs in the bottom of that that I did with the router. So... That'll show you a little bit more, too. I'm looking at my notes, just making sure I got everything. I think I did, but this is the, just the first in the series. Stop and think, what are you going to really use your router for? Um, I do believe that any woman that doesn't do any woodworking will love it. Um, so I do suggest they're not that pricey. The priciness comes in the bits. These can get very expensive. But the router itself is pretty inexpensive, fun to use, and... Um, We'll start her up next time. Thank you. Bye.